Hey, what's going on, guys? The channel's of Sports Cards. My name is Ian, and today Nikki and I are going on a retail run. She's actually driving, so this might not last very long. Let me know any of you females out there, or any of you guys that have girlfriends or wives, whatever. Is it just Nikki? Or are they all bad drivers? Hey, hey, hey! It is currently Saturday morning. This Target that we're heading to right now. They stocked last weekend. Unfortunately, we walked away with only Pokemon because they allow three of each product. So there was like, I think six total optic blasters and they were gone in the first two people. They had some baseball, but we've been able to find that stuff at least for the most part. But we're gonna go to the Target that stocked last, that was last Sunday though, right? But the weekend before that, it was a Saturday. So we're gonna check that one out first and possibly come back if, if there's nothing going on there right now and that's where we're pulling into so let's uh let's see what we can do here What do you got, Nikki? I got all of the tins. So we, between the two of us, were able to get one of each tin, which they had one of each, which is awesome. Then we got some Donner's baseball to open up. All right, guys, super excited that we were able to get one of each of those tins. Last year, I had a heck of a time finding one of each player. And today, we were able to do it in one shot, which is cool. Um, got some Donner's baseball probably to open up at the end of this video, just to check it out. Uh, did ask the checkout person, you know, hey, did they, were they stocking this morning, do you know? And she's like, no, I think they did it yesterday or last night. So, don't know what they could have had. I think optics pretty much drying up, but we're gonna head over to the other Target just to see what's going on over there. That one's actually still holding them at customer service as far as I know, but, you know, you gotta go check, right? So, not a complete miss. Unfortunately, we're not gonna hit the stocker there today. I was really hoping we would, but there's a chance we run into something else today. We'll see. And it's starting to rain. I think it's gonna be a little bit early for breadsticks. We can still check, but it's a little after 9.30. I think it opens about 10. I'm not sure. I don't think we're getting breadsticks today. Let's find out. Good news and I got bad news. The bad news is I was politely asked not to record the customer service area. You know, we didn't want to get any faces, name tags, stuff like that on. So we did not record anything. However, we did find some stuff. They did have some optic blasters and some more of these tins. So Nikki did grab an extra one of these for our pack wars, but I only grabbed one of these tins. So maybe we'll open one of those, we'll see. Um, but unfortunately, I don't know if we're gonna be able to record in there anymore. I uh, wish we could have captured that, but I promise you, we just got this just now. So um, excited about that, but a little, little sad that we rubbed the store the wrong way. So apologies to anybody that we offended in, in Target. I, that is not our intent here. We're just having fun and you know, I know you guys enjoy these. So if we can keep bringing them to you, we will, but uh, unfortunately, that store we're not going to be able to record anymore. So let's head over to the Walmarts and see what they have in store. Alright, there's no signs here, but you can tell there's no space for cards either. I've heard from a couple people that they're actually holding sports cards at customer service at this Walmart, so we're going to go find out. So, 
as you can tell, they did have cards at customer service that it's kind of nice to have them displayed there so you can just go look and you don't have to bother the customer service person. But there's nowhere on the shelves that tell you to even go look there. I wouldn't have had any idea had I not been told to go look there. They did have some top loaders in uh, one touch. I saw one one touch that I was kind of interested in, but I got some of that stuff at home, so I'll let somebody else get that. And they had a lot of baseball, a little bit of Pokemon and some stuff like that, but I think we already had most of what they had there. So we're gonna we're gonna leave that. We're gonna stop at one place that we haven't been to yet on our retail runs just to check it out. I, I got a picture from a guy showing me some cards at a place I've never been to. So we're gonna go look at it. stop of the day we're gonna see if they're stocking here I haven't seen that they'd stocked at all this week so fingers crossed we can find something and if we don't see anything on the shelves I'm probably gonna go check out customer service I haven't heard that they're holding cards here but I think it's worth checking being that the other one is holding cards and they're not advertising that anywhere so let's go find out together <laughs> Nikki ran away from me, but they said they are not holding sports cards to their knowledge, so nothing here. So, pretty successful retail run, if you were to ask me. Probably the most successful one we've had yet. Luckily, at that Target, we weren't able to film in. They had some of these optic football blasters. Did not expect to find these. I'm pretty sure I said before we got there, this is probably drying up. Still have not found a Target Mega Box, which is crazy, but happy with this. We're going to save these for Nikki and I's next Wife Pack Wars, which if you guys haven't watched one of those yet, we're, what, 56 episodes in and we're tied, which is crazy. They're a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys will check that out this week. Um, we also got a Tops 10, which we actually got seven of these total. You can see right here, there's six of them. I think... Let me see. Trout, Judge, and Bellinger each got a 10 again this year for two straight years. Where's Tatis? I, come on, mix it up a little bit, but uh, it's pretty cool. I'm really happy we got those. And we got an extra Judge one, so we're going to open that one today. Uh, we got baseball right around the corner on Thursday. Pretty excited for that. Uh, we got Donruss baseball here, and my last video was a Topps Heritage. And a lot of people in the comments were saying that Donruss was sneaky good. So we're going to check it out. You know, I'm not the biggest Panini baseball guy, but, you know, it's something new. I'll, I'll rip it open. But let's uh, let's start with the Donruss baseball. I did not get the blaster box because blaster boxes take a long time to open. There's a lot of packs, and I didn't want this to be a half-hour video. You know, with the retail run, that one's going to be about eight minutes probably, and I didn't even look. What does this come with? This comes with one vector parallel and three exclusive hollow red parallels. All right. Donruss Baseball. We got to look for a few things here. JP Crawford. We got like nicknames and variations. Tucker, Turner, Rad Hand, Kyle Lewis, Cole Calhoun. It's just so hard. A lot of the pictures are going to be the same because well, I guess they take the the lettering off there. Trevor Story, Josh Hader. They cannot have the MLB mascot or the team name on here. Cookie Carrasco. Uh, I don't think he's still with Cleveland. Uh, this guy, unfortunately, I said it in the last video, he's out for at least five months it sounds like. Jimenez, that's that's a big loss for the White Sox. Dale Murphy, um, this is like a throwback. Not sure which year, but Brandon Woodruff, Cal Ripken, same little throwback there. Injin Rue, Andre Dawson, 
Maybe all the vets have that throwback look. Luke Voigt. Steve Garvey. And Brad Keller. All right, now we get some shiny stuff. This is where the fun happens, right? This is the fun stuff. Ooh, don't need that. Ian Happ. It's our first red. Jordan Alvarez, second year. And then you're going to get one of those nickname ones. Bam Bam. For Tampa Bay. I don't know who this is, to be honest. Oh. Tampa Bay second baseman. I... Cannot think of it for the life of me. Look at this. The Rookies, Joey Bart. That looks amazing. Big Giants fan, guys. Uh, it's not going to be our year, I don't think. But excited for the season nonetheless. We got Josh Bell, Diamond Kings. Evan White is our first rated rookie. Uh, thought we are going to have rookies here. Butane. For the, is that Walker Bueller? I'm assuming Bueller, Butane, yeah. Makes sense in my mind. Ken Griffey Jr., that's cool. Diamond Kings of Whit Merrifield. Christian Javier, rated rookie. Bigfoot. <laughs> so they put all these towards the end, that's kind of cool. And uh, we end with... A Diamond Kings Trevor Bauer. Best card out of that pack. All right, let's see what the hanger box has. Six hollow orange and two diamond parallels. Why does it have to have a Dodger on the front, though? That's just gross. It's on there pretty good. So I wonder if the retro designs I was seeing was the 87 year. The unleashed inserts look pretty cool too. I'd be I'd be happy to get one of those. I don't know how rare they are though. I don't know if they're like the downtown or you shall see. Alright, we're gonna take half of the stack, or else it's gonna just slide all around me. Dansby Swanson, Luis Casillo, Keston Hira, Francisco Lindor, definitely not on Cleveland anymore. I want to say Cookie went to the Mets, and so did Lindor, right? Freddie Freeman, Jack Flaherty, Liam Hendricks, Rama, Ramon Laureano, Caliandro, Alcantara, Rendon, J.P. Crawford. I think we got him in the last pack. Kyle Tucker. Oh, we're going to go on run here. Ozzy Smith. I don't remember if we got him or not. Barrios. Dale Murphy. Yeah, we got him. Woodruff. Ripken. Injin Ryu. Dawson. God, we hit the same run as the last pack. That's unfortunate. Larry Walker. I don't think we had him, though. Brad Keller. Steve, yeah, maybe we did, because we definitely had Steve Garvey. All right, let's see if we can get off of that run. Get some new cards. Anthony Santander. Fergie Jenkins. Anthony Rizzo. All right, we got something cool here. Numbered card. <laughs> numbered, numbered out of a lot. Barry Larkin. Numbered out of 2021. 627. To look up what this thing's called but some sort of foil looks nice it's like the red stripes on there not sure what that is called but now we got some orange stuff uh what was it called hollow orange and then we get two diamond parallels so dustin may is our first orange brian anderson over here. Mariano Rivera. Flip him the right way. Will Myers. And Nolan Arnado. No longer on the Rockies. Diamond Kings. All right, we got a Raider rookie orange foil here. Bobby Dahlbeck. 
And then this must be our diamond stuff here. Yes. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's get the rainbow going here. Already got the mojo looking one. Now we got the Joey Bart diamond. Very nice. They do well with these refractors. Panini always does well. Donruss. And the refractors. Dominators. Manny Machado. Pretty cool cards there. Let's see if we can get some rookies or something out of here. Sam Huff. Rated rookie. Bo Bichette. There he is. I haven't pulled a bow in a while. The six. Is that like a... Hmm. I wonder if that's a variation of some sort, but there's no like red D on the back or anything. I know they have like, I'll look into that. I'll, I'll, I'll edit that in if, if there's anything to look for there. Set it off to the side so don't forget. The <laughs> Thominator. That's pretty cool. Jim Tomey. Anthony Rizzo, Diamond King. Uh, Tavares, Raider Rookie. Yachty. The Lou. The Lou. What's so it's just oh okay, so it's like a team. So this says Chicago. This one says the Lou. St. Louis. The six. Toronto. I, I don't understand that one though. I don't understand Toronto. Jose Ramirez. Clark Schmidt, Raid Rookie. Mike Trout. Very nice. Is this gonna be Variation. Hmm. It's kind of back here with the variations, but Jack Flaherty, Tyler Stevenson, Stephenson, not sure how to pronounce that. Raider rookie, Josh Donaldson, the mini apple. That's what Minneapolis? I've never even heard of that. 354 career wins for that was Roger Clemens, right? Yeah. And Nelson Cruz Diamond Kings. All right. I don't know what I just. No idea what any of that stuff was. It's always fun to go back through that stuff and kind of see what you missed the first time around. But let's get into this tin. I opened a ton of these tins last year. Nikki and I, we did a lot of pack wars with tins. We found quite a bit of them and I was intrigued by them. But I think the coolest card I ever pulled was like a Mike Trout relic, which is cool. But, you know, never pulled any autos or anything. Anything super crazy. No, we might have had an Independence Day parallel or something, but let's see what our first 10 of 2021 will bring us. This one I'm definitely going to have to. So it looks like our good stuff's going to be in the middle. So we're going to... I don't know, we'll do something like that. All right, first card is Brandon McKay, Future Stars. We're going to kind of go through this relatively quickly because we've already seen this stuff. Kuna, DeGrom, Mookie, Seth Lugo, Odor, Wilmer Flores, Blake Snell, Seeger, Lester, Marte. These dudes goofing around. Workman. Bobby Dahlback rookie card. I think that was our first rookie. Danny Duffy. Joe Adele rookie card. You know, having a somewhat of a rough spring, but we'll see if he can come back. Tyler Stephenson again. Stevenson. Eddie Alvarez. A lot of rookies here in a row. Casey Mize. One of the top maybe rookie pitchers. Another one. Sixto Sanchez. Brad Hand. Nomar Mazzara. Austin Hayes. Robbie Ray. Do it for the fans. The cutouts. <laughs> That's kind of a cool card. Goodman. Osuna. Santander. Hunter Harvey. And Danny Mendick. I think these should all be base again. We'll see. Chris Taylor. Motor City Mashers. Howie Kendrick. Buxton. Posey. Set him up there. I think I already have one, but... Just in case. Adam Fraser. Morton. Chapman. Dubnak. Soria. Bruce Brinson. 
Nice rookie cup of Kyle Lewis. We'll set him off to the side there. Voigt, Turner, Alfaro, Kitzner, Cole, Mitch Keller, Profar, Will Smith, Mercado, Nemo. A lot of cards in here. Wendell, Big Meat Pete, high fiving. Rookie of Mejia. Nick Niedert, I think that's what that says. Senzel, Dylan Bundy, Mitch Hanniger, the Nationals, the White Sox, clean hands needed, and a Hewer rookie card. All right, let's get into the exciting stuff now. I didn't check in the pack odds of the. Uh, I'll put them here in the in the comments area or the subtitles, whatever you want to call it. But I'm sure that these rainbow foils are harder to pull again. Just like the other packs, we saw John Gray on the rainbow foil. Uh, Eddie Murray. Well, that's kind of cool. It's got a little dimple on it, though. Right in the bottom right there. Akuna. This is uh, 1970. I think these were kind of a tough pull. A good looking card, though. Clayton Kershaw, Chris Bryant, Aaron Judge, Yachty, DeGrom, Nate Pearson. I've been pulling this guy quite a bit. And we have a Strasburg. It's like a 1970s insert of some sort. Or 70 edition. It says 2005, so I have not seen this card before. So 2005 top set. Hmm. Nothing crazy in there. I mean, these cards are kind of cool, I guess. Big fan of the chrome stuff. But that's going to do it for this, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Big week, actually. I have something absolutely amazing to show you guys tomorrow for the mail day. I, I literally cannot wait to open it. I'm so excited. And we're going to have Wife Pack Wars, as usual, on Wednesday. We're going to have something special on Thursday for opening day baseball. Something short and sweet, but it's going to be really cool. So... A lot of things to stay tuned for and if that's not enough you know if we're able to get a hundred i think we're at like twelve thousand four hundred subscribers are able to get 100 more subscribers by tomorrow we're gonna give away some shirts so if you're not if you're new here you haven't subscribed yet please be sure to hit that subscribe button and until next time be smart be safe and be humble ian out